Hi there. Hi, I'm going to put it on gallery view so you can see the both of us. My name is Nora Zimmerman. I am a soul brand creator and website designer. And I'm here today with Liz Darcy Jones, who has been a participant at your website school more than once. She is the wild rhymer and uh, she's going to talk with me a little bit about all her website incarnations because she has been um, evolving um, and we have seen the process together which is beautiful um, and um, yeah I'm very grateful she's here with me today so would you like to introduce yourself tell us where you are and also a little bit about what you do um, and maybe um, yeah we just talk about how you started and where you're at now Okay, thanks, Nora. Um, well, as Nora said, I'm Liz Darcy Jones with rhyme in her bones, very easy to remember. And really, the theme right through my entire story has been enriching live connection, mm -hmm. mainly through poetry, also uh, originally in a corporate way as a voice coach, and more recently graduating as a facilitator in Biodanza, which is a music and movement um, discipline. So uh, quite a difficult client <laughs> or pupil for your website school because I have kind of, um, even from the beginning, I've had many strings to my bow and how do you bring those all in together in one website? So I started corporate with a corporate website and uh, then I had a little kind of don't know bit in the middle when I wasn't quite sure where I was going and now I'm about to launch my first audio book in Sleepy Rhymes for Troubled Times which is inspired by the home page picture you see on my website so your website school is really uh, innate and integral to where I am because I commissioned that poem as the image for the home page. Yes, excellent, wonderful. So um, I'm interested in how you evolved because um, this is something that happens to a lot of people. They go ahead, um, they create a first website and they feel that this is it and they've put tons of effort and you invested lots of money in this. And then a few months later, maybe a year later sometimes, it feels like you moved on and the website is kind of not matching where you're at anymore. And some people get quite um, almost shocked because uh, how come I've done all this work and now suddenly this is not who I am anymore. It's not serving me. And sometimes they try to perhaps change the photos or change the copy. But in a way, I think um, what you decided at the time was, okay, this is not me anymore. Tell us more about that point, that transition and where you were at. Okay. Um, I think that part of the uh, transition was very practical, moving and recognizing I had to take a leap from being a corporate lady to being true to my heart and oh, shifting oh. through. <laughs> um, to really being a creative animal um, immersed in nature. Mm. Mm. And although my corporate website, which we so enjoyed and saying goodbye was quite painful for us, wasn't it, Nora? I think when, we, when it finally it went. Really, yeah, it was a really good website. And it worked beautifully uh, and it did reflect who I am and that part that is unchanged so there is a seamless unchanging part however the what and the how and the audience that was the evolution and I wasn't really sure middle time round but as I've evolved actually I think your website school has evolved to be much more strategic and the questions and things we went through were actually the real gift of doing your website school middle time round. Actually, the website didn't last very long, I don't think, that time, because it was kind of... You mean the second one? Movement. 
but where we moved to with the third time which was actually taking the leap is what i have now and um i think when you ask me what I wanted from this one of the things was that this is <laughs> the 30-year website which is for me for the rest of my life and wow. we're now three three years on and it still gives me huge pleasure every time I visit it and I know that that is the case for people too so I don't know if that explains evolution sometimes we need to grow and there is maybe a, a, a transitional bit um, but I think what we are doesn't change and i know that the last time in your web website school you really identified that it's grown to this thing of discovering in a way the heart and the depths of what you are so i think it's a deepening process very good thank you yes um so tell us about this website how is it going how is it working um the feedback you know you also mentioned um earlier about the question what was that you wanted to achieve with your website and what you answered and i love that answer um yes actually and i look back to uh, so the website had a very small remit i looked up actually what i wrote down when we started your website school and i wanted this for the website to astound visitors with its breathtaking unique and touching beauty so even visiting it without going any further they experience some sense of their own goodness and beauty and that's a bit different from a lot of websites because um a lot of them might be i just want to get more clients and that was part of it and now it's i have a shop that's just only come in in the last month to sell the audio book and uh, these prints of this beautiful picture. Um, and I also wanted crystal clear clarity. So the website itself um, is quite unusual because it includes a kind of soundscape, which actually, um, as we both know, is really lots of blog posts with audios, which Squarespace is fantastic because you're able to upload audio tracks without them being hosted anywhere else and that is really quite unique and um, it means that people can listen to 10 or 15 poems um, and go to different places uh, on this sort of soundscape which I call wild poplars which is like where I live um, overlooking a field with poplar trees at the bottom of the field so it's a lot of blog sites but people wouldn't maybe know that yes. um, but yeah and it, and it covers the three activities that I have and some beautiful design work by you which was extra I should add that from um, you on the home page to create these windows and it was really p worth paying that little bit of extra to have that little bit of extra design uh, continuity with the picture so does so, that yeah. explain what it is i anything uh, i think so so i'm going to explain it in my <laughs> <Better>. <laughs> okay so liz is a very um creative multi-talented um expansive lady and this happens with a lot of creative people they've got lots of skills and on this website we wanted to almost guide people as to where they would choose to go and also it's it's a website where you can go and explore different places so obviously i'm going to add the link below and you can check it out um, so there's different places that you can enter by the different windows and i think that was a great way to structure and to give these a home because Otherwise, everything seemed to be so disparate and so um, like, where shall I focus? What shall I do? And in a way, we wanted to bring it all together because it all kind of threads together somehow. But sometimes for business owners, it's difficult to see the thread and to feel that, yes, it comes all from one person. And yes, the customers will be engaging with this energy that you create rather than the specific technique or skill or offer or service. So yeah, in a way, I think your website is a great um, way of showing how the structure of the website can really home, give a home 
to all these things that they seem to be disparate when you start. Mm. Yeah, um, I th and I, th I think the other people I work with on, which is fantastic, I can't say enough about, I'm not a collaborative per person, a lot of creative people are loners like me, and the thought of doing your website school, scary, scary, uh, a group of people, I'm going to be, you know, uh, engaging in a, in, in, in a, as a pupil, oh my God, and absolutely fantastic because A, the feedback, and but also that whole process of listening to each other and you gain ideas as you're going along. And I think not all of them, but uh, certainly a big proportion of the students um, who have been, a lot who've become friends um, have this same... Uh, a portfolio of activities mm. and it's I think that finding the underlying seam and then finding the structure and it's different from everybody for everybody and seeing that is really fascinating and helpful yeah mm. so yeah Very good. Good. Very good. well thank you so much for coming online and having this chat together um, I just love seeing how things move forward and how you're looking after the website, um, all the new things that are appearing as I check sometimes. Um, and I'll be putting all the links um, just below. Thank you very much, Liz. Thanks so much, Nora. It's been a real pleasure. I really recommend it. <laughs> okay.